Today I completed reading uh, Wade, so I'm done with the book. Um, read all 15 chapters, all appendices, uh, worked through problems, uh, and I've shown in my many updates uh, up to some of chapter 13, but decided not to work on any more problems. Uh, chapter 13 requires me to do some more vector calculus outside of it, and I want to do that later, right? You know, do it once, do it right. Now, I would have done the problem just to say that I, a few problems just to say that I've done them, and that's not good enough for me. Uh, then for chapter 14, Fourier analysis is its own thing for which I would like to have its own book that I read, and then I go back to Wade and do a few problems from Wade. Uh, likewise, for chapter 15, chapter 15 will require me to do some tensor analysis and also some differential geometry. Uh, specifically in the case of both chapters 14 and 15 uh, they are tight very tight in content uh, they're dealing with subjects that are their own books likewise 13 so actually all three chapters uh, so yeah definitely revisit time later on uh, come back uh, come back to Wade for the early chapters uh, also for other reasons but yeah so that was wade mission completed I, I i i read the whole book that's really it feels like a great achievement and if i go through the notebooks notebook one uh was uh i think it got as far as chapter four so this is the first four chapters uh notebook two uh got as far as chapter seven then notebook three got as far as chapter um, chapter 11. And then notebook four, which has lots of notes that I have not yet shown, and I'll go through them, has uh, all of the reading for chapter 14 and chapter 15. Um, so I'm not going to go through it in as much detail as I've gone through for the other chapters because I did not work on problems and it's not fair. Uh, and it's just really a transcription uh, with some comments of uh, Fourier analysis as told by Wade. You know, Cesaro means... Uh, very interesting. I, I learned a lot that I didn't know. I didn't know anything about kernels, for instance. Uh, and yes, it may be a missed opportunity that I did not do any problems. But I've done this before. I did it with uh, with uh, Rosen. Uh, there were some chapters where I either did like a very small number of problems or and just kept going because I knew that I was going to do something else. Uh, and that happens when you read a book cover to cover. Uh, did some lookups on Tauberian uh, theorems. Even did a, a, a little thing with the, the chatbots. Uh, again, some, some topics when you try to teach yourself something uh, either get amplified or worked on when you take a course later on or you come back to it later uh, in another incarnation. So, not going to go through these in detail, just quickly showing them. I took notes and so it's kind of silly for, just to, for me to just show you notes. Uh, even though I have, maybe it is, maybe I should show them. Then the Manifolds chapter, very interesting, I learned a lot, but it really felt like I needed, I was missing a lot. So, um, even when it got, especially when it got towards the end, when I started going into um, the discussion of Stokes' theorem and all the things that built up to it, I really felt like I was just writing things down. And that's not a good feeling for me. Uh, and it tells me that there should be a tensor analysis and a differential geometry uh, coursework in both subjects, coursework, hopefully in the future. And sure enough, that's end of book. <laughs>